My name's Mike Cobb, and uh, I'm on the steering committee for the Disaster Relief Trials Portland 2022. We're here at the pre-event social at Splendid Cycles. Today's Thursday and Saturday's the big event. It was really important for us at TURN to support the DRT because we hope that it can grow and have a huge impact to show people what bikes are capable of. And hopefully it allows DRT to grow to other cities and show folks across the country that bikes really can be an important part of city emergency response. My name is Tad Hara. I'm from Japan and I built this bike to bring it over here to race in the DRT. I just want to be standing at the end. I want to not destroy my bike. So those are like my two main goals right now. Not destroy my bike or myself. It's an amazing event that showcases how people can come together and help each other after a disaster. Um, and take care of things and we know that many of our roads won't be passable with vehicles and we'll run out of fuel so we're going to need to look at things like bikes, cargo bikes, e-bikes and all the things that we can do with bikes after a disaster. DRT contestants go through checkpoints where they receive information about disaster events happening and perform missions that simulate delivering water, food and medicine to people in need. According to FEMA, 95% of all major disaster victims are rescued and assisted by non-professionals. People who have cargo bikes are going to want to help their neighbors once they take care of their families and themselves. The disaster relief trials give people practice running supplies with their cargo bikes. Cargo bikes are the ultimate disaster resilient vehicle. They need no grid of civilization to haul stuff, up to around 200 pounds, and can overcome obstacles that a car wouldn't be able to. I don't know the other paper, okay. it was a down power line. That's right. And then, shoot, and then there was something at an Albertsons at the corner of Prescott. A leak, we heard a leak, was it some sort Gas of leak? Gas leak, this that's year. good. All right. I'm just so impressed with these folks carrying pallets for crying out loud. Okay. I think a lot of folks, especially in the States, see bikes as just recreation, but they're really a, a really a resilient form of transportation. And so it just seemed like a really neat opportunity to kind of test out this e-bike that I built.